So let's please bring on out Alexa and Carlos Penavega. <laughs> But let's talk about Spy Kids a little bit. Um, well, Spy Kids, you know, when I first started shooting, I'm 25 right now. What? But I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> but uh, I started filming Spy Kids 1 when I was 11. And by oh. the time we finished Spy Kids 3, I think I was 14, almost 15, because I went into sleepover right after that. Yes. Um, but it was so much fun. And, and I, I, because of Spy Kids, I always tell Carlos, that I want to name our kids with like a really long name. Do you guys remember my yeah. name oh, yeah. Spy Kids? Yeah. yeah. It was Carmen Elizabeth Juanita Eco Sky Brava Cortez. Like that was my <laughs> full name. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so, um, but that, that experience was so incredible. We got to play with these gadgets every day, do all, all of our own stunts. I, it, it was such an unreal experience. And because I'd grown up on sets since I was four, that's when I started acting, it really felt like home to me, and I was so comfortable there, and everybody was just warm and welcoming, and it was the best experience you could have asked for. Definitely. And what is your like favorite memory or like uh, favorite like part or or scene that you did in Spy Kids? Um, oh my gosh, my favorite scene, I would say working with the jetpacks because they hooked us up to these wires and we would literally like zoom across the room. And of course, you're in front of a green screen, but they put all this wind on you, and you really do feel kind of like this action hero. And they put you in these cool costumes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Selfie. Except you gotta do 20 of them. Oh, 20? Uh-oh. Hold on, should we flex our muscles? But um, probably, probably the jetpack stuff. It was just one of the most fun experiences. And every week, because they wanted to make sure that we weren't you know, just working too hard, that we were having fun too. They'd have some sort of new fight. Um, cake fight, silly string fight, water balloon fight. We actually got in trouble because next door they were shooting Miss Congeniality and we brought the water balloons and water ballooned their set. But, <laughs> but they're in really pretty dresses, <laughs> so it didn't go over so well. <laughs> okay, can we hear a lot about Big Time Rush? Are sure, time yeah. Rush? Uh, I was in Florida. I just got a uh, full scholarship to the Boston Conservatory for musical theater. Oh. I, I went up to Boston. I was like, I'm going to New York in four years. I'm going to go try and be on Broadway. This is my dream. And then um, I saw a thing to send in a tape for a boy band. And I was like, well, maybe. Like, I could see myself in a boy band. But it was like a Nickelodeon show, a boy band, a record deal. I was like, you know what? Let me just try this. So I sent in a tape. And uh, in a week, they called me and were like, hey, can you be out here for, uh, for a, like, like a producer session? And I was like, what does that mean? They're like, well, you know, you come out, you meet producers. I was like, all right. Mommy, daddy. I was like, I know I'm in college right now, but uh, Nickelodeon just called me. And they were like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and so four months later, they called us and were like, hey, you want to move to LA? So I was like, well, a year and a half done of school. Dad, what do I do? Wow. So I go, I mean, I, my own TV show, school. So I made the choice to go and um, pursue Big Time Rush in hopes that um, it would do well. And thank God it did. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that's kind of how it all began. Uh, uh, and I was just wondering if you each had one piece of advice to give to like a young aspiring actor, what would it be? Um, if it's truly what you want to do and you know that it's what you want to do, I think patience is one of the most important things because it doesn't move quickly. You're going to, you know, go to Hollywood or, you know, wherever to pursue your career or New York to pursue Broadway. And you have to remember there are hundreds of people that you're going up against and they're all going to be good and sometimes you won't get a role because you're too short, or you're too tall, or you have the wrong hair color, or you, you know, look too much like the other person they hired, or you don't look enough like the other person they hired. And, and there are all these things that come into play. So it's not that you aren't good. It's sometimes you just have to have patience 
for your role and your opportunity to come up. So patience. Patience. Yeah. If this is the thing you want to do, lots of patience. How did you two meet? Like yeah, I tell don't. that whole story <laughs> about how <laughs> you became the Pena Vega power couple that you are. Um, and the fact that you guys took each other's last names is like so adorable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they flowed me. Thank you. Well, uh, I saw Alexa for the first time when she was in Spy Kids. Uh, I watched her uh, in the movie theater and I was like, huh, she's cute. <laughs> um, and, yeah. then, and then, uh, what is it, like 15 years later, 16 years later? Long time Not that long, geez. Well, long, long time <laughs> later, um, her and I met um, at, um, our, our friend was having a Bible study at his house, and he'd been inviting me forever, and I was like, okay, I'll go. And he, but he'd been inviting her forever. She was like, fine, I'll go. And literally the one time that both of us showed oh, up, you were there. I was there, she wow. was there. And let me just say, she just wanted to be friends. <laughs> for, for the longest time. Good girl. I just, I, I, I didn't understand, but you know what? I just kept pursuing it, and uh, and now two years later, we are married, and uh, we. Like I said, if it's important to you, <laughs> right? Keep going for it. Yes. <laughs> but uh, no, no, we're 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 happily married six months now. Yay. Yeah, six months. Well, you have to find the thing that keeps you grounded, and like I said, this business will take you all over the place. And if you don't have your foundation in who you are, you will get lost because other people will start to tell you who you are. Everybody, so many people want to tell you who you are all day long, and they're gonna tell you. The most dangerous thing we have are our mouths because we have the ability to affect other people in such a great way. Making little comments, you know, even though you don't think it's a big deal, you don't realize what that does to somebody else. That's why a foundation for us, yeah. is the most important thing, and find your foundation. Yeah, I mean, it, it can literally be, you know, your goal. If you want to be on Broadway, like I still want to do that. That's still that's that's still my number one. <laughs> um, you know what? I believe that I'm truly going to do it. I, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm definitely going to do it. So, if if if, if you have an not an end goal, but a, a main goal out there. Have a vision for yourself. Have a vision. Have that vision and go for it. And don't let anybody get in your way. So. That's it. Yeah. All right. Let's give a big round of applause to our, our wonderful masterclass, Alexa and Carlos Benavega.